hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video so today i'll be sharing with you some essential baby items for the age range of 6 to 12 months okay i did one for the newborn stage and i'll leave the link down below so that you can check it out okay so the first on my list today is a tita okay this was a very essential item for me because my baby started teething around exactly six months there are different types of titas out there in the market but i just loved this uh silicone one so you can get whichever one that you like or whichever one that works for your baby okay just know that when they start eating they will be drooling a lot saliva is going to be coming out and you even notice that they are always grabbing things to put in their mouths maybe their clothes or just anything they see to scratch their gums so yeah that's why it's a good idea to get a teeter for them so that they can just um, chew on it to suit their gums okay. next on my list is a baby toothbrush okay this was also very essential to me because you need it to clean their mouth, their tongue, or their teeth, or even just cleaning their gums if they haven't got any tooth yet, okay? Or you can even use a washcloth. You don't necessarily have to buy this. But one thing I love about this is that it makes it easier to clean their tongue. So as you can see, it has a hole here. So you just put your finger in, and then you can clean their tongue, their gum, or their teeth, okay? I used to use a regular washcloth from Beth just to clean his mouth and his gums, okay? But I started using this around, I think, six or seven months. Yeah, so you might consider getting one of these. Next on my list is a play mat or a play gym where your baby can just sit and play around or entertain themselves, especially if you want to get one or two things done around the house, okay? The play mat usually comes with a lot of toys and a lot of musical instruments that is just hanging um, like over their head so that when they are sitting there or laying there, they have a lot of things to keep them busy. Okay, let's talk about their feeding items because babies normally start eating some type of solid food around uh, six months of age. Some babies might start earlier, maybe four months why some other babies might start later for several reasons okay my baby actually started around four months and few weeks i think just before his fifth month anyways you're going to need a high chair okay where you can sit your baby comfortably and feed them okay one thing to keep in mind when buying a high chair is how easy it is to clean and how functional it is okay don't worry so much about the aesthetics okay and this is one mistake we made with our first child so there was this high chair that we bought quite expensive i'm talking hundreds of dollars here okay um at that time i was so fascinated about the fact that it had all this um adjustment all these features of reclining it sitting it up and um adjusting the height and all of that but when we got to home and started using it i realized that it was very difficult to clean it properly especially those little little spaces where food particles would get stuck and that's not even all that high chair started peeling the the seat itself the the sofa whatever it started peeling it got very messy that we had to just throw it away okay and this time around i said i should just go for a random one which i got from kmart it was very affordable very simple and most importantly very easy to clean okay so make sure you keep that in mind when you are considering buying a high chair for your baby okay so you're also going to need some plates spoons and cups okay i have these ones here these are the silicone ones okay for the cups i like to get the ones with two handles like this so that your baby can practice how to hold the cup and drink by themselves okay i also have this other type of cup here as you can see it also has two handles what i really love about this type of cup is that it is spill proof okay so like this this is one we normally take when we are going out so you open it like this and yeah can you see not even a drop of water yeah i really love this cup because it is spill proof i put it by the side of the diaper bag so no matter how you shake this cup or no matter how the bag turns around i'm rest assured that the water will not spill and wet other things in the bag and for the plates i highly recommend that you get the ones with this suction so that way when you place it on the table it's very hard for them to pull it out so that they'll not be able to pour their food away okay you need to see where my baby is struggling to pull this thing out that he will even start crying and of course you need a spoon okay you can get this from any regular store or you can order some from amazon i got this one from amazon and i'll leave the link in the description box so that you can check them out 
you're also going to need some bibs so i have two types of bibs here this one which has um the front side is cotton and the back side is um i don't know what this material is called but yeah so i tend to use this one more when he's just having a liquid drink or juice and then i have this silicone one which i use when he's having um like a puree diet so as you can see it has this pocket here which um catches the food i've noticed something about this um silicone beams there are some you will get and the pocket is closed like that okay don't go for those ones because what happens with that one when there's a food falling out it won't be able to catch the food particles and it will end up going over the baby's clothes and it doesn't make any sense so when you are buying these make sure you go for the ones that the pocket is kind of hanging out like this okay so that's way to be able to catch whatever food particles okay and i also love that it's very easy to clean you can wash and reuse this as many times as possible and of course it has um like the adjustable clips so you can make it as tight as you want okay or you can put it here the first one as loose as you want this is actually one of the silicone bibs i used for my first child okay so i've had it for four years and look at it it's as good as new still on feeding items you may also need these um small storage containers especially if you meal prep their food at home their puree diet i use these containers to store the puree diet in the freezer i started off with this small one when he first started uh, eating some solid food then i moved to this bigger one when he started eating more and the thing about these small containers is that instead of storing the food in a bigger container and when it's time to feed him you bring it out defrost it take the quantity that they eat and put it back in the freezer i think it's a better idea to use these smaller ones so that way you just bring out one from the freezer defrost it and they are able to finish it so that you don't have to bring the food out defrost it and then put it back in the freezer I don't know if that makes any sense anyway so if you are planning on meal prepping or doing home cooked meals for your baby you're definitely going to need some of these and of course you can get them from any regular store or you can order them off amazon so the last thing on my list today for feeding is this food pouch and snacks which i normally get from aldi and i've been loving this okay my baby loves it and i like it for him okay you don't have to get this but the reason why i normally get this especially the food pouch by the way this is the apple and oatmeal one so i normally just have this in the bag in the diaper bag for when we are out and about and he's hungry and maybe i just don't want to give him milk or maybe i don't even have hot water to make milk for him this normally comes in very handy okay this also comes in handy for when i run out of his home cooked meals so i just open one of these you can eat it hot or cold but i normally just warm it up for 30 seconds in the microwave and i give it to him um okay i think i've said that before this is the apple and oatmeal one but there are lots of uh, varieties there is the banana one there is the carrot and pumpkin there are just a lot of them okay and then these snacks this is um this is a fruit snack like a cereal bar okay between the 6 to 12 months um age range babies usually like to nibble on something any soft fruit or veggies i still give him the cooked uh, or steamed veggies at home but like i said i normally just pack these in the diaper bag for when we are out and about and he needs something to eat okay so next on my list is this pull up pants okay see here when babies start moving around when they start standing crawling or walking it becomes very difficult to use the regular um wrap around uh diaper for them okay it's, it's like a war it's like a tug of war because when you lay them down to put on the diaper for them they turn around or they try to stand up and just walk away from you okay so these pull-up pants are way easier to put on for them okay it's also very easy to take off especially when they are standing or walking so you just rip it off by the side on both sides and then it just falls out okay so yeah you're going to need this anywhere between six months to 12 months okay so last on my list today is their clothes the overalls especially the ones with open feet with cut out toe like this and that's because if you keep using the ones that has the the toe cover for them 
they are going to outgrow those ones they outgrow those ones really quickly okay so i'll suggest you go for the ones that has this open toe open um like cut out toe so that's where they're able to wear it for longer without outgrowing it so quickly okay all right guys that's it for today's video those are all the essential items i have to share with you today if you're a mom please let me know in the comment section is there any other essential item you think that we might need for 6 to 12 months age okay i know there are several items that we think we might need okay but i try to narrow it down in this video and i try to be as minimalistic as possible okay thank you for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video bye